seems legit. Hello, my legitimates, and look at the fun toy I am making today. This is a spirograph for anyone that hasn't seen one before. I had one as a kid. They are so much fun. Uh, so as you can see, I am doing one because I am childish. So I got this design off Etsy, uh, and there is a link below in the description. This is 3mm plyboard, which I am cutting at 3mm a second with 100% power. I have my air assist on. I have a honeycomb underneath. And I do three passes because sometimes two just occasionally leaves little snags and I didn't want to have to deal with that. So the extra pass just means I really don't have to. Uh, it takes 210 millimeters or 21 centimeters, just over eight inches to make this board. Uh, so I cut down my piece and that side leftovers I will be using to make a custom Christmas bauble for someone. Um, so all the pieces are cut with inside it, so it's very not wasteful, and I like that. Uh, it's a bit smoky because I had to have the lid up so that you guys could watch the video, which means the suction wasn't working as well, such as life. Um, so then what I'm going to do next is, it'll catch up in a sec, but I'm going to be using the Dremel because I love my Dremel for everything. And I have a flat top wire brush. Uh, so what the flat top's going to do is it's going to allow me to get in and out of the curves a lot better. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it makes it a quicker process. This is also sped up so that you're not watching me for 10 minutes, you know, sand things. Uh, so I did all of them at once. You can also use an alcohol wipe and a cloth and wipe it off. The reason I don't like doing that, though, is I find I tend to get smudges on the wood and that just annoys me. Um, so you can paint these a few ways. I'm going to paint mine with acrylic paint, uh, but you will have to do several coats, or you can do it with spray paint. The reason I'm not spray painting today is because I wanted to do them in all different shades, and that would be a lot. And then we're all done.